going to compare some ebook videos today with regards to reading PDFs. I'll start with the smallest and oldest device, which is the Sony PRST1 that you can see here. As it is right now, this the text of the PDF is way too small for me to read. It's I could read it, but it's really really hard. So what you obviously then would do is you crop the margins so that you can get more text on the screen. On this device it's relatively easy and comfortable to do it. Actually it's quite nice to do it. You get this crop selection box and you can then increase or decrease um, the size of the of the selection box as you like and obviously the proportions match the proportions of the screen so you're not going to be surprised later on um, how the text looks like. Once you've done it mm, the text is um, resized or the, the margins are cropped and you can then turn pages as you would expect. On this device I would say that with the margins um, now cropped, the text is still it's readable, uh, but it's not great. It to me it looks much more like an emergency situation when it comes to reading PDFs. So I would say while the handling is quite usable, I basically can't recommend it to actually use it. The resolution of the device is just too low, and that's the main problem. Let's compare that with a newer device which has a slightly bigger screen. Um, the one before was 6 inches and I think this one is um, 6.8 inches, inches. Okay, here's the, the same page on the same PDF. On here, I have a very easy and fast way to actually get to a more readable way, and that was that. After you've done that selection, you can then turn pages as you would expect. Um, it actually works quite fine, and I would say, as you can probably guess from the image as well, that on here the text already is quite readable. It's still a bit small, but because the resolution of the device is relatively high, I actually would consider it usable and find it good to read. And I would say it's quite a nice compromise um, between. Um, the size of the page, which has its uh, advantages, and also the bulkiness of the uh, device. Okay, let's have an, a look at another much older device, well, two years, I guess. And that's my old pocketbook 903. It might look a bit ugly because I used black tape um, to take the frame. This is to actually increase the contrast. By the manufacturers, out of unknown reasons to me, decided to use a more silver grayish um, finish on the frame and um, that might be nicer looking but the black actually with the um, increases the background um, to the somewhat whitish background of the page um, increases the, uh, the contrast. Okay, anyhow, let's have a look at how this works on this device. You have to press the button over here which is now hidden by the tape and now comes a very cumbersome process. You have to use the pen, select the margin that you want to crop, and continue that on all four sides. This is using, I well it's not really a developer um, firmware, um, but it's not one that you, um, it's not the one that I came with. Okay, let's do the Top margin, you can save it. And here you go. So once you've done that, um, you get the the page. And now this, I would say, this basically is like a book. The screen quality is not as nice as with the books device, and I showed you, and also the books devices that I'm going to show you. But it's still quite reasonable, really, to read, and I would consider that um, fully usable when it comes to reading. Okay, let's move on to yet another device.
So this is the box um, 96, which uses a pen for input, and this is on the market right now. Um, on here the process is quite similar to the smaller box device I shown you earlier. You can either press the menu button or you touch the screen. Oh, I thought that would be doing it. Let's press the menu button. You go on navigation, and here I actually have to use the pen because it won't recognize touch at all. And here you go. And here the screen is, I would say, perfect. Really nice, readable, and it is um, really the size of a printed page. Maybe let's try to quickly compare the pocketbook to this device. And yeah, I would say the video um, shows that this image over here or that the text over here is actually more readable than it is over here. So I would um, really prefer that device. Also I think the page turning is um, quite a bit faster. Let's do that on both devices. It's not much of a difference but you actually feel it and also one of the biggest differences is is that this device here uses Android and it has the Play um, Store installed so you can basically use it as an Android tablet with a very slow screen but with a very readable screen at the same time. While this has its own operating system and is basically not updated anymore. So I would not recommend the pocketbook. An alternative to the M96 uh, with a pen is this device which is a prototype or a pre-market device, I don't know what you would call it. So it's basically the same device as before, but it actually, ah, let me turn this on, it actually has a touch screen. So the screen quality of the two devices is um, I would say basically the same. The one with the pen seems to be a bit wider, the screen, but all in all you won't notice the difference if you don't hold the devices, um, unless you hold the two devices directly next to each other. In my um, experience, I would personally go for, the, um, for this device um, when I had to choose between the one with the pen and the touch screen because to me it just feels much more natural to use my my fingers and also it's one item the pen is an item I could lose and I tend to actually lose those things so with a device that is um, usable with the hands I, I'm not afraid of that anymore I will probably do another video showing um, note taking um, on the touch screen compared to the screen with a pen yeah, um, that's it so far. So I guess all the devices are usable for EPS, um, not the Sony PRS T1. And I would say that in the end, the the choice, if I would now, if I was to buy a new device, I would, I would probably go for the small device. If I read tons of PDFs, scientific data, and all that, I would go for a big screen. Um, the smaller one is more uh, a device, I guess, for being on the road. And there is a, a nice compromise, a really nice compromise between um, being able to read the PDFs and being able to carry the device. Okay, thanks a lot.